Cyberpunk 2077 is a role playing game and part of a role playing game is being able to decide your own part and Cyberpunk has done this in a number of different ways. Firstly right at the beginning you get to customize your character. You then get to decide your life path and this will give you three different introductions to Cyberpunk but will also link into your character's backstory and will have everlasting effect throughout the whole game. Whilst you're playing the game you have branching dialogue which will lead to different situations with different characters you'll build up different relationships this will also link into the multiple endings depending what decisions you decide to take so we're already seeing a number of different ways in which you get to shape your character's path but the other thing that has been heavily talked about is the romance options within cyberpunk and this is what we're going to be going through in today's video before i do get into the video if you do want to see me streaming this game live when it does finally release in december then there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to the twitch stream drop a follow over there and you'll be notified the second that these cyberpunk streams do go live december is going to be a crazy month and i'm very excited for it getting back into the video you can build a relationship with any character being male or female and you can choose your sexual orientation. CD Projekt Red want you to shape your own path. This means choosing your character and the person you want to be with. You'll be able to flirt, have one night stands, as well as long-term relationships within Cyberpunk. But before all of that, the player is required to meet the specifications in order to romance a certain character. You can't go into the game and have the option to romance everyone. You are limited and each character in the game will have their preferences. So what links into the character's preferences? Firstly, the customization that you pick right at the beginning. Now from what I've read, not every single option and every single preset that you have within the customization section actually links to whether or not another character in the future will find you attractive. The most talked about features is the voice as well as the genitalia. So the voice will have an effect whether or not you choose a male or female voice. This is what is decided at the beginning of the game and even though it might just seem like a preference in which sound or voice you like the most, it does seem to have a lasting effect, especially if you're looking to build relationships with certain characters. Character genitalia has also got a lot of attention due to players being curious of what's going to be available. Even though it's been said, we haven't seen anything as of yet. But it seems like this also won't be a thing that we will just apply to our characters. This also seems to have a lasting effect, especially if you're going to be looking to have relationships within Cyberpunk. Now, these are the two sections that have been spoken about the most. From all of the different articles that I've read dating back to 2018 when it was first talked about and going all the way into 2020 when certain people got the gameplay demo, I'm really not sure if the specifics within character customization do have an effect. So this being hairstyle, hair color, eyes, eye color, shape of your ears, any type of tattoos, piercing, surface wiring, all of these little specifics that you have with your character, I don't know if there is preferences for other characters to find that attractive or whether or not it's based on the genitalia as well as the voice that you pick. All we know right now is that the character voice and also the character genitalia do have an effect on whether or not someone will find you attractive. The other thing that can link into whether or not a character will find you attractive is the life path that you pick. There are three different life paths, Nomad, Street Kid and Corp. And some characters will only find V attractive when you select a specific life path. For example, apparently from what I've read, Meredith Stout is only attracted to Corp OV. When I read that, that made sense to me. Meredith works for Militech and her lifestyle is very work orientated so it makes sense for her to if she was to look for a relationship to be within a similar sort of industry that she's in but this is just an example and there will be loads of other characters that would be similar to this you'll find characters that will only be attracted to nomad b then you'll get other characters that are only attracted to street kid b this is also a good time to point out that some characters are way more open-minded than others so it doesn't matter what character voice you have, what genitalia you have, what life path you have. It's more just about the choices you make when talking to them with the branch and dialogue or the decisions that you make within missions that will affect the way that they see you within the world. On the complete other side, some characters will not be interested in flirting, one night stands or any type of relationship. They will never be interested in V. And even though I haven't read this anywhere, I do want to speculate that Adam Smasher will probably be one of these characters that will never be interested in flirting, one night stands or any type of relationship. He will not be romanceable. This is a character that is known for being heartless. 
and doing everything Arasaka tells him to do. So I'm going to go and put this out there, but I don't think Adam Smasher will be in any type of relationship, no matter who you are as a character, no matter what choices you make within Life Path or Branch and Dialogue or the customization options that you picked at the beginning. So those are all the different ways in which you can get within a relationship. And there's so many different things that play a part with it. But what is the benefits to being in a relationship? Well, CD Projekt Red have confirmed that there will be specific plot lines for relationships. In a PC Games interview with Pal Sasko, Pal Sasko says, so in terms of romances, you can think it's going to be similar to how The Witcher 3 was. There was whole plot lines regarding characters. And if NPCs were treated well and interested in general, something was happening. So here it's going to be very similar. So there will be more content for you if you do look for a relationship within the game. And the type of content that we'll be getting may be a one-off mission, we're not too sure. We haven't seen any gameplay of someone getting a relationship. We did see within the 48 minute gameplay back in 2018 where female V does have a one night stand that the person ends up just leaving and we don't see him for the rest of that gameplay. So we're not too sure what can happen. And we're also not sure how the missions will differ compared to what characters that you actually get in relationships with. We don't know if it will be the exact same mission just with a different face or a different character in the position or whether or not it'll be completely different missions and the missions are based on the character. There's a number of different ways that they can play out. But with this, I'm very, very excited to see what comes from this type of content. It sounds like some characters are a lot easier to get in relationships with compared to other characters. And for the characters that are extremely hard to swoop off their feet, I can see content creators doing specific videos on how to get with certain people. With that, you would get a specific mission as a reward, and maybe there's some extra loot at the end for completing that mission. So there's an incentive for a content creator to do that video, as well as there's also an incentive for a player to watch that video so that they can replicate that on their own game to get whatever it is you can unlock. With this, we're still waiting to see what type of missions will come come from these relationships and I don't think we'll get that before the release of Cyberpunk so we will have to wait until the full release of the game for us to then be able to try it out ourselves but let me know in the comment section down below is this something you're interested in pursuing for your character because despite knowing how to get into a relationship and understanding that some characters have set preferences it comes down to whether or not you see your character being that type of person I said this is a role-playing game and because there's loads of different options that you can do within the game doesn't necessarily mean that you have to adventure out to every single option. It's entirely up to you. You get to make the decisions. So let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you do want to see any more content from me, as said at the beginning, there's links in the description down below to a number of different platforms. And when this game does come out, I will be streaming it daily. And that should hopefully be on the 10th of December, unless it gets delayed again. The links to everything is in the description down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.